Napier's method for long multiplication. We want to multiply 62 by 375. So to use Napier's method, we begin like this. Up here, we've drawn a grid. It's got as many rows as there are numbers in 62, and it's got as many columns as there are numbers in 375. We could do these the other way around and have 62 on top, 375 on the side. It doesn't matter, you'll get the same result. As well as this, we've drawn diagonal lines going from the top down to the bottom left and continuing outside of the grid. You'll see why in a moment. To use Napier's method, we now look at each square in turn and we multiply the number at the top by the number to the far right. So for the top left square, we've got three times six is 18. So we put the one in the top left corner and the eight in the bottom right. If we now move along one square, we've got seven times by six is 42. Next square, five times six is 30. We now move on to the bottom row. Bottom left, we've got three times two is six. So there's zero tens, six units. And continuing on like this, we get seven times two is 14, five times two is 10. Now we've filled in the grid, we are gonna look at each of our diagonal strips. In the bottom right, the first strip has only got a zero in it. So at the bottom, we put zero. The next strip along has got a zero, a one and a four, which we add together to give five. The next strip, three, add two, add one, add six, to give 12. We put the unit at the bottom and we carry the 10 to our next strip. We've now got four, add eight, add one, which is 13. So again, put the unit in, carry the 10. One add one is two. There we go. Now looking around our grid, we've got two, three, two, five, zero. And that is our answer, 23,250. We're now going to use the same method, but for a larger sum. So 457 times 6,128. Again, we've got our grid. Doesn't matter which way around we put the numbers. I put the four digit number at the top. And we go through each square, multiplying the top number by the right hand number. So in the top left square, four times six is 24. Then we have one four is four. Again, putting a zero in the tens box. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 4 is 32. In the second row, everything is multiplied by 5. So we have 30, 5, 10, and 40. And then in the bottom row, everything is multiplied by 7. 42, 7, 14, and 56. And we now go through our diagonal strips, adding the numbers in those. So the first one at the bottom right is just a 6. Second strip, 0, 5, and 4 make 9. We then have 2, 4, 1 and 7, which gives us 14. So put the 4 in, carry the 1 to the next strip. We're now going to add 3, 8, 1, 5, 0, 2 and 1. This gives us 20. So we put the 0 in, carry the 2 to the next strip. 0, 4, 0, 0, 4 and the carried 2 will give us 10. Put in the 0, carry the 1. We've now got 4, add 3, add 1 for 8. And in the top one, there's just the two. So now reading off our numbers from the top left, we've got 28,00496, which is 2,800,496. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.